Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsland and here the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 26th of March. Indian opposition supporters detained the head of protest near PM Modi's residence. MQM founder leader says corrupt Pak Army generals, ISI chiefs, real traitors. And Sri Lanka cabinet approves 40% hike to minimum wage. And now for all the details. Delhi police on Tuesday detained dozens of supporters of Aam Admi Party leaders who took to streets as they protested against the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and attempted to march to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's residence. Kejriwal, a key opposition leader whose party has governed the National Capital Territory for a decade, was arrested last week by the Enforcement Directorate on corruption charges relating to the city's liquor policy weeks before India begins voting in general elections on April 19. Today, Delhi people were asking their Prime Minister to ask their Prime Minister. They were arrested. This is not a shame. This is a Tana Shahi. People can't raise their voice in the people. What do you think? Meanwhile, the ruling BJP organized a counter-protest demanding Arvind Kejriwal's resignation. The AAP has asserted that Kejriwal will continue to serve as Delhi's chief minister even if he operates from within the jail. This has made him the first ever serving chief minister to be arrested. Previously, Heman Sorain, former CM of Jharkhand, had tendered his resignation moments ahead of his arrest. दिल्ली का मुख्यमंत्री कट्टर बहिमान है, भ्रष्टाचारी है, उसने दिल्ली के पैसों को लूटा है, उसके स्पीडर की मांग को लेकर हम दिल्ली से चिवले जा रहे हैं। Moving on, five Chinese engineers and their Pakistani driver were killed in an explosion on Tuesday when their convoy was attacked by a suicide bomber as they were on their way to their camp in Dasu in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. The incident came hours after militants attacked a Pakistani naval air base in Balochistan killing at least one paramilitary soldier while security forces killed all five of the assailants in retaliatory fire. We escaped a huge loss, said a statement from Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif's office. The Baloch Liberation Army claimed responsibility for the assault. The BLA has previously been involved in attacks on Pakistani and Chinese interests in the region. The naval base is significant to the China-Pakistan economic corridor that also encompasses roads and energy projects. Moving on, MQM founder leader Altaf Hussain on Monday said it has become a tradition in Pakistan to label those demanding rights as traitors, but the real traitors are army generals and ISI chiefs who have broken the country, a report. Calling corrupt army generals and ISI chiefs as real traitors, Mutahida Qaumi movement founder leader Altaf Hussain has said that it has become a tradition in Pakistan to label those demanding rights as traitors, be they Muhajir, Baloch, Sindhi or the Pashtun. In an event in London, Hussain said, army generals and ISI chiefs get appointments after America's clearance. He condemned the unconstitutional and inhumane treatment of Imran Khan and his party stating that the former Prime Minister's fault was that he waved the cipher in public for which he was punished. तो इमरान खान ने क्या दिखाया था? जेब से निकाल के साइफर क्या निकाल के दिखाया था? उसमें क्या लिखा था? रिजीम चेंज भुट्टो को फांसी क्यों दी गई? भुट्टो को फांसी क्यों दी गई? इस्लामाबाद में उसने एक पेपर निकाल के इस तरह लहराया था ये सफेद हाथी ये हमारे मुल्क का दुश्मन है अमेरिका को कहा था एमक्यूएम हैज डोमिनेटेड पाकिस्तान्स लार्जेस्ट सिटी कराची सिंस द 1980स 
When security forces cracked down on the party in the 1990s, Altaf Hussain sought asylum in the UK. Even from exile, Altaf Hussain has been a vocal critic of Pakistan's military and its rights violations. And Sri Lanka's cabinet has approved increasing the minimum wage of 40% to support workers struggling with living cost as the economy slowly shakes off its worst financial crisis in decades, helped by an IMF bailout. Revision of the minimum wage from 12,500 to 17,500 rupees was approved by cabinet to support people living in poverty, cabinet spokesperson Bandula Gunavardana said. This is a very important decision. Under this, the national daily wage will also be increased by 200 rupees, he told the weekly briefing. Helped by $2.9 billion program from the IMF, the island nation of 22 million people has seen its economy slowly stabilize with inflation reducing to 5.9% in February from a high of 70%. But multiple energy price increases and a 3% sales tax hike in January have raised the cost of living and hit the poor hard. Moving on, London Science Museum on Tuesday opened Energy Revolution, the Adani Green Energy Gallery, which explores how renewable energy can help tackle climate change. Through striking displays of contemporary and historic objects, interactive digital exhibits and specially commissioned models, the gallery shows how the past, present and future are shaped by human imagination and innovation. It explores how we all have a role to play in deciding an energy future. The challenges of electrification, energy storage and supply and demand are also explored with visitors invited to play interactive games and use models that show how energy can be generated and distributed. Possible routes to low carbon transport are featured as well. The decarbonization of our buildings and construction industries and visitors can learn about climate modeling and see instruments used to measure climate. And thousands of Sikh devotees in India on Tuesday gathered in Punjab state to witness a display of traditional martial arts on the occasion of Hola Mohalla. The celebrations began with prayers and singing of religious hymns. The annual festival commemorates the transformation of the Sikh community into a martial fraternity by their 10th spiritual leader, Guru Gobind Singh. He made Hola Mohalla an occasion for the Sikhs to demonstrate their martial skills in simulated battles. This was done to forestall a grimmer struggle against the imperial power and channeling people's energy into a more useful activity. The main attraction of the festival, which coincides with Holi, the Hindu festival of colors, is a display of horse riding by Sikh warrior Order Nihangs. Sikhs make up about 2% of India's nearly 1.4 billion population, but they have a majority in Punjab and a sizable population in capital New Delhi. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.